You know, the most exciting part that happened when I came here to Toronto, the most exciting part for Sani and me was when we saw each other at that moment. When we came, from the, came off the air, when I came off the airplane, that was the most exciting thing. Oh, but Arissa, yeah. did you notice that uh, I don't think Trey came home last night because Sani wasn't here? It wouldn't have been a perfect opportunity for him to hump something. She might not even know it, but it's obvious this chick's in love with you. I come back here and he goes, he goes, can you just pull down your pants? If you don't have, I'm not going to touch you, nothing, just pull down your pants. I go, yeah, whatever, right? So I just pull down my pants, whatever. You, you show, you and so, your ass? camera's on me, I can't do that. And then I did. <laughs> you did it? Virgin, my f***ing ass. So I got $1,000 for people, for anyone out there who can come and prove that Sandy's not a virgin or that they've had sex when they got some tape or anything like that. The day he has sex with you is the day I go over there and the day I kill him. You know what I'm talking about? I don't give a shit. I will kill him. We are a group of Canadians in downtown law where we work at a TV station hosting programs on everything. News and music, sex and game shows. We also live in the law. Cameras everywhere. 24-7. UHTV.com. This is our reality. TV, there was a guy that was jerking himself off to get an erection to show the male penis on, on So Gay. And Sandy decided to rifle her pants down and show him her ass to help him get his groove on. And Trey is so upset at Sandy and completely offended at it. And I guess last night him and Dave came home drunk and he ranted on and on about it. She was showing him her ass while he, so he could jerk off and get hard for the next shot. Bullshit! I swear to God! I hope we get this on camera. It's, on, it's, it's on camera. Camera 18, did you get it on camera? Yes. Please, Does did you he... get Sandy showing her ass to this guy on camera? Oh! <laughs> It's a very interesting turn of events, don't I you? think so, too, because, uh, you know, uh, Trey's got morals and principles, and he would never show his ass. <laughs> he wouldn't, for example, for example, you know, walk down like that and go, hey, Jen. And throw uh, yeah. uh, oh. yeah, I have something to show you right no, now. No. <laughs> Trey wouldn't do that. I'm looking forward to actually so. seeing the laughter show when they juxtapose all the shots of Trey's naked yeah. ass to the one time Sandy did it and how she's always been like, whatever, and he's like, oh my God, what's her mother going to think? So Because I, I don't think Sandy's a virgin. I got, I got a challenge for everyone out there. I got a $1,000. Would you care if she would be or not be, though? Because I, I, I just love to expose it, and that she's not, and that she's a lying hypocrite. So I got $1,000 for people, for anyone out there who can come and prove that Sandy's not a virgin or that they've had sex when they got some tape or anything like that. And you know, why do you even call in? Have you had sex with Sandy? Call in. 416. Holy get on shit, chat. Man. You know what I mean? Because you know, like, that's it. I'm on a mission. I'm, I'm here to expose. Are you still a virgin? I'm going to go to my little cousin's first Holy Communion. It's a sacrament when you're a Roman Catholic where it kind of unites you and Christ and you are now able to take the host in church. You can't just feel that you're perfect when you're going to church or that you're better than somebody who, who doesn't go to church because somebody who doesn't go to church may follow, you know, may send sin less than you. It doesn't mean anything that you do go to church. Do you know what I mean? It's just about, it's about trying to be closer to God. Because she walks around and preaches. She goes to, ch she goes to church. She, you know what I mean? She doesn't drink. Oh, by the way, Sandy's been drinking lately too. Just so you know that. 
It is weird, like when you go to church and you realize that you've been sinning and you think, it, it make, almost makes you feel like you're a hypocrite because you're thinking, you know, I you know, want to come to church and, and you're like praising God and then you think about all the bad things that you've done. I make the odd sexist joke and she says I'm morally degrading to women. She is a woman and she's hanging her ass out for a guy to jerk off. And it's a total stranger. You know what I mean? That is morally degrading to women. And that's what pisses me off, for being a hypocrite. The thing is, is that Trey has a cross in his room. So what does that mean? Do you really have, he has like the, the rosary? Yeah. yeah. So does that mean that he can't have it there? Yeah. Like, all the people who go to church, would they don't sin? So what everybody sins. I don't walk around here saying, you know, preaching the word of God, and, or, or I'm not saying she does either, but walk around here like living by the word of God. and. You know, and um, I know I, I fornicate, have sex outside of marriage, sure. You know what I mean? But I don't walk around telling everyone I'm a virgin and do everything but. Okay, and I got a, I got a, I got a G note for the first person to, uh, to prove to me or have, that has evidence that, uh, that, you know, that she's had sex. And, and she's had sex either before um, UATV. I just want to expose this rat fake. Mama Madeiros, take a look at your baby girl now. As for my mom, I uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> no. So we'll see. I don't know. Hopefully she won't watch this episode. It was like coming to the loft. Coming to the loft was different because um, Because it was actually people I could talk to, like in the hotel, it was like I was totally lonely and I was like just totally thinking about my family all the time and missing things. And I was thinking about, believe it or not, washing dishes at home in my basement and I was thinking like how I miss that and how I miss like, you know, like my dad walking by and my mom being, you know, in the laundry room or whatever and us talking. And You know, the most exciting part that happened when I came here to Toronto, the most exciting part for Sandy and me was when we saw each other at that moment, when we came, from the, came off. The air, when I came off the airplane, that was the most exciting thing. No, nothing, when I mean, you have um, the tallest structure, you have all these things, none of that is important when you see, when you see you know, your baby sister again for a long time. That's the most exciting part of, you know. Seeing us together, I think you understand maybe like the bond I have with my family. So when I'm telling people to shut up and not talk about my family, um, you understand why, because we're so close and we get each other. You know what I mean? Like, all three of us, uh, me, Suzette, and Santa have always been close all the time. My mom always instilled that we couldn't go to bed. Um, if we had a fight, for example, we couldn't go to bed without, like, all saying, you know, making up kind of a thing. And it was just that I think we were so poor growing up that we would always come up with, like, different games for us to do. We didn't always have, like, friends over. We'd have, like, our cousins over, and that was it. So we basically only really had each other. Sandra, Sandra, my middle sister, was worried that she kept saying to me, Sandy's going to change. She's going to be a different person. Ha! Sandy's still the same person, and I'm glad. You know what I'm talking about? She still has her, um, she still has her cool qualities and still has that little bit of those irritating qualities that aren't so perfect because none of us are perfect. So she hasn't lost those, so obviously she's still the same girl, so I'm happy about that. Thank God. You know what I mean? I was worried that she was going to be like everybody else. Saying, ah, nah. She's still the same person, and I'm glad. She's wonderful. Are you still a virgin? Oh my god, please don't tell me you're asking me this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm kind of like in between Suzette and Sandra. Because Suzette's like outrageous, loves to wear crazy clothes, feather boa, loves to go clubbing, loves dancing, very eccentric. And Sandra's the complete opposite. Doesn't like going to clubs. Very um, much like a homebody. And I'm kind of like in between because I love going to clubs, love dressing up, but there's a part of me that likes to just chill out um, and wear like, you know, like my sweatpants and stuff like that. And not that Suzette doesn't wear sweatpants, it's just that you barely see it. This is an old man. Okay, I'm old. Here, this is your grandpa and that's his song. When me and Suzette go clubbing, it's not even the clubbing. I mean, we love dancing. We make the best out of like every club we go to, but it's the part of getting dressed up and the girl time before going out, that's fun. And getting dressed up and, and doing crazy things, it's, it's fun because you don't get to do that every day. And it's just a fun thing that we do. When we go to clubs, we're always like getting really dressed up. Oh my. Hey. Hey. 
everybody's always freaking out that I talk fast, but it's like, you know what? It's not that I talk fa fast, it's that your mind is too slow. And when you see me, it's that we, we get each other. We understand what we're saying. <laughs> it's cool, I like it. It's a family thing, huh? Suzette, Sandy, sisters, for sure. Another question. Oh, but Arisa, did you notice that I, I don't think Tree came home last night? Because Sandy wasn't here. Wouldn't have been a perfect opportunity for him to hump something? I mean, he only wants to hump somebody when Sandy's in the room. Oh. Isn't it obvious that he has a crush on Sandy? I think so. Take care, and I was nice meeting you. You're really nice. So okay, okay. And you're Surreal, okay. <laughs> How do I feel about her being gone? Well, first of all, there's a lot more space in the lot. Can you tell I don't like her? Yeah, I'm really glad that their family, all the three sisters are really close because that's all they're going to have for the rest of her lives. They're going to be like three witches in some crazy house with 20 cats. I have a new appreciation for Sandy because I, um, I honestly thought I had it pretty bad. I got a taste of how worse it could be. Yeah, he's saying, oh, I have a new appreciation for Sandy um, after meeting Suzette. And it's like... Oh, I'm so flattered that you said that. I think not. Anybody who insults my family, I think even less of you now. And that really pissed me off because if you put my family down, that is worse than putting me down. Dave, 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 Dave. I'm still waiting for that report. Sandy's sister, Suzette. Trey, Trey, Suzette. I, I said hi to him. He was in bed. Suzette, Trey. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, I figured out why she didn't want to have eye contact with me. Because if she did, she'd fall under the love spell like her sister Sandy's under. The Trey spell. And as for her not looking at you because she might fall under your spell, give me a break. She doesn't want to look at you because she doesn't want to throw up. Trey. What a loser. <laughs> what else could it be? If she can look at herself in the mirror every day, I don't think I'm that hard to look at. No, it wasn't that I wish my sister wasn't here because of him. I wish Trey wasn't here because my sister's here. That's what it was. Like throwing the phone. For one second. Note on that coach. Hello. And they would it. Trey? Like that just shows how violent you are. You know what I mean? Like that was uncalled for. And I mean, it's funny how he's so excited about winning the money shot. Yeah! What a beating oh, baby! Oh! Yeah. That's you the guys just loving this. Huh? It's so important to him that it's like, it's a game. And if you are taking that so seriously, that is pretty sad, my friend. Pretty sad. Everyone that I know, everyone says, Trey, are you stupid? It's obvious. She might not even know it, but it's obvious this chick's in love with you. <laughs> I talked to Suzette and she was like, whatever, you go girl. You know, you weren't doing anything wrong, so don't worry about it. Hello? Hey, it's me. Hello. Who was, um, trying to eavesdrop on the other f***ing line before? That was Trey. Yeah, the f***ing piece of shit. I left a message for his f***ing face on his thing, you know? I can't even speak, man. I'm so pissed off. You know what I'm talking about? I know, I hear you, man. And it's like, I would look at it like just... Tear his head. The, the reason I'm calm right now, I tell you why. Because somebody's more pissed off than I am. Who? You. Oh, nobody. You know when you're like so pissed off? You know what? It's like, it, it, it's, you can't be, I can't be more pissed off than you because know, you're so I pissed know. off. Sandy, Sandy. But I haven't watched the show yet, so I, I, I don't know how bad it is. Are you in the living room? No, I'm, I'm in the, my bedroom right now. Where's that f***ing asshole? Is that? Where look, is he? You left him a message. No, 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 no. Where no, is no, that f***ing no. asshole? He's in the kitchen, and I'm not going to give you the phone to him, okay? No, no, no. You know what you're going to do? You're going to go into the living room, and you're going to put me on the speakerphone. That f prick is so jealous that you didn't show your ass to him. And I see Sandy with her f pants down and her ass hanging out, looking back, going, yeah, like this. She was showing him her ass while he, so he could jerk off and get hard for the next shot. Bullshit! I swear to God! Him, and he has to get all the girls drunk as you have proven, because a girl was talking to you on the internet, they have to get drunk. He has to beg them. He has to buy them cool, well, actually, he doesn't buy anything. He's so f cheap. It's 
like when you. I know, he's being hypocritical. He's being hypocritical because you, you were not doing that in the bedroom with him. Why, why is he always following you around? I'm just curious. Why is he always watching you? Does he have anything better to do? I know. Why wasn't he taking that time to somebody in his bedroom at the time while you're out there? You don't have to people when you're in the room with him. Exactly. And you know what? What is this asshole going to come out of the closet anyway? You know what? I haven't even watched the show. Yes, I'm I haven't even watched the show. I don't even know soft. what he's the hell happened. He's super soft because he wishes that you had shown your ass to him. You know what? That guy was begging you to show. That guy was begging you to show himself to, to you, you to him because you know why? Because you're good looking. You know what he said? He said, "I wonder what Mama Madero thinks." What think. Mama Madero's think of that? Virgin, my f***ing ass. He goes, "Virgin, my ass." He says, well, except he's disappointed. Like, oh my oh, god, can't be my future. I can't have sex with her. So he can have sex with you. Um, don't even put my mother. My mother into the conversation when you don't even know who your own f***ing father is. Don't f talk about my family, asshole. Yeah, exactly. Or he goes, I don't or, put or, your family into anything. Or he goes, or, 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 remember he called me fat when his big brother or, and his little brother are both huge yeah. and his girlfriend, Adele, is like really fat and he says that I'm fat because he's hoping that by saying that, he's hoping that by saying that, everybody's going to believe that we're the ones that have a crush on him and that we're the ones that are fat. No, 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 mister. You're the one that's ugly. Um, f*** you. The day he has sex with you is the day I go over there and the day I kill him. You know what I'm talking about? I don't give a shit. I will kill him. And it's like, you know what? I'm coming to Toronto and I'm going to give him something to really cry about this time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I ain't going to be no acting anymore. You know, like these fake um, crocodile tears that he always sheds, hoping to get, hoping to get a, a contract for on General Hospital. Oh, look at that guy, good actor. He sucks. He can't act. He has big ears coming out of his head. You know what? This guy is such a loser. I can't even speak. I'm so pissed off. I have so much rage. It's white rage. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. This guy said to, on TV today, he said, the gift that Honey? Yeah. What was that? I have no idea. It was Trey, wasn't it? Trey, the asshole. So we can f That, don't worry. This will be a whole after show, okay? I, I'm going on the speakerphone. that? I want to have a few words with the asshole. No, that's enough. You left him a message. That's, that's enough. enough. That's yeah. enough? Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Put me on the speakerphone right now. I'm not going to. Sandy, he's always eavesdropping as it is. I know he is. Let him eavesdrop. I'm not putting you on speakerphone. Tell him to eavesdrop then. Because I got a few choice words. Okay. Mom, okay. mom, don't worry. No, 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 no. Sandy, you know what? Ma thinks I'm getting too excited. No, 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 no. No, no, I will not take a chill pill. Okay. Mom, what are you going to try to beat him up? Damn it. Just. Just. And if I were him, I would, sh I would watch it. Because at night, at night, if it was me, he better be very grateful it's not me that's rooming with him. Because I would chop off his penis and stick it down his mouth, and he would have to feel it. And you know what? This prick pretends that he wants to have sex. He wants to have sex with Sunny and let him. Then why didn't you move in with Jennifer, who's okay with it, you little piece of shit? Okay, this is the thing. When I say that I'm not going to have sex before I get married, I mean, I'm not going to have sex before I get married, but I didn't say I wouldn't do anything else. I didn't say I would have fun. And for all you viewers out there who think that the ultimate thing is having sex, guess what? You can have a lot of fun without risking any STDs, without risking getting pregnant. I just proved it. You can have fun without, without even touching each other. Yeah. Anyways, listen, Pani needs to use the phone, so... He um, doesn't need to use the phone. That's his mom's way of telling me to shut up because she doesn't want me to cause any more... <laughs> how shall we say? <laughs> Is it how to use the phone? Oh. Hello? Pa? Pa? Okay, here's the phone. I'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, Zay, Zay, you need to just take a chill. Let, let me watch the show so I can vent with you at least, because I haven't seen the show yet. Can you just at least put me on the speakerphone for one second? No, I'm not going to. That's the I'm end of the story. Okay, so that. Hey, Mia, yeah, Eva Diagora. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, talk to you. Alright, okay, bye. Ow. Ow. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. I went out with uh, Jimmy Dean.
no. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I'm doing this. He's a porn star, doesn't that say enough? Uh, so 72 pornos, a stripper, and he does what he does, you know? I don't know why he does what he does. He's a little, like, greasy for my liking. Are you a porn star? Yes. You are? Okay. Yes, and the question that everybody yeah. wants to know from TV who doesn't get yeah. to see, 